And now we turn to the morning. The six victims who lost their lives Monday shooting. Allie Lynch is live outside Covenant School. She joins us from Green Hills to tell us more about how they lived their lives and how they are now being remembered. Well, Neil, good morning. It's almost been 48 hours since the gunman walked into the Covenant School, and the scene this morning remains just as heartbreaking. Now, the Covenant School is a private Christian school, pre-K through sixth grade, with around 200 students. Now, where the 28-year-old shooter walked in and killed six victims. Those six victims, three children and three staff members, you can see their names there up on your screen. Evelyn Deekhouse, William Kenny, and Hallie Scruggs. One of the adults killed was the director of the school, Catherine Kuntz, Cynthia Pika, substitute teacher, Mike Hill, a custodian. Now, the nine-year-old student, William Kinney, killed in the shooting. We don't have a picture or a statement from his family at this time. We are working to get that. Hallie Scruggs is one of the three children shot and killed during Monday school shooting. Scruggs was a third grader at Covenant School. The nine-year-old was the daughter of Covenant Presbyterian Church's pastor. Her father, Chad, released a statement saying, we are heartbroken. She was such a gift. Through tears, we trust that she is in the arms of Jesus, who will raise her to life once again. Dr. Catherine Kuntz was the head of the Covenant School. Metro Police say she was shot and killed after being confronted by the shooter in one of the school hallways. Several of Kuntz's former students say she was a light, and there needs to be more people like her in this world. She was 60 years old. Evelyn Deekhouse, a nine-year-old student at Covenant School, her family describes her as a shining light. They issued the statement saying, our hearts are completely broken. We cannot believe that this has happened. Evelyn was a shining light in this world. We appreciate all the love and support, but ask for space as we grieve. Cynthia Peake was a substitute teacher at Covenant School, originally from Louisiana. Peake was a mother of three children, a daughter and two sons. News 2 spoke with one of Peake's best friends who says she was someone that you could count on in a crisis. The last victim, 61-year-old Mike Hill, police said he was shot through a door. Hill, a custodian at Covenant School, was a father of seven children and 14 grandchildren. I had the chance to speak with one of his longtime friends, Jim Bachman, who says they had a one-of-a-kind friendship. We needed some heavy lifting done. I'm too old to do it, so we called Big Mike to come out here and help us. And he always would. I gave him my car, show you how much I love him. I just gave him my car. I was just rattled. I was just, uh, your heart, your heart gets, it feels real heavy. And uh, uh, you realize you don't get a chance to talk to him again until you see him in eternity. I want you to take a look at this memorial here right in front of the school. Flowers, balloons, stuffed animals can all be seen this morning. And since just last night, this memorial has grown tremendously. Just goes to show the strength and love this community has for each other. Now, of course, our prayers go out to the loved ones of these victims. Reporting live this morning in Green Hills, Allie Lynch, News 2.